but I wanted to start off today's session by reminding us of something that I feel that in our community, in our societies, we've forgotten about. And that is about the rights of a Muslim, the rights of a Muslim over another Muslim. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he actually spoke about this in a hadith we have reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, in which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a Muslim has six rights over another Muslim. And he said, the first is to greet him with salam when he is met. The second, to answer his invitation when he invites him, when he invites him for a meal, when he invites him to come uh, to his house, that he accepts. Uh, to advise him when he seeks nasiha, when he seeks sincere advice, when he seeks counsel, that he advises him. Uh, the fourth is to bless him or to say Allah when he sneezes and he says Alhamdulillah. The fifth is to visit him when he is sick. And the sixth is to follow his janazah when he dies. And this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. SubhanAllah, brothers and sisters, if we just reflect on this, you know, some of these things we've stopped doing or we've at least started to neglect. The first, to say salam to a fellow Muslim when you see them. And that means whether you know them or not. You know, sometimes we only say salam to somebody when we pass them by, if we recognize them. But actually, as Muslims, we should be spreading the salam uh, regardless of whether we know somebody or not. Uh, because the salam is a dua, isn't it? We're basically asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give peace to this person and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with this person, right? Because as salam is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then when the person says, wa alaykum as salam, they're returning that dua. And of course, all of us want peace, don't we? Uh, the second to invite, to accept an invitation. So if somebody invites you to their house for dinner or to a wedding or something, they've invited you, it's actually their right as a Muslim that you accept to the best of your ability, you should be trying to say yes. SubhanAllah, it takes quite a lot of organization and a lot of uh, generosity to invite somebody. And I think it shows you how important it is to honor the feelings of a Muslim, that we actually are told that it's a right of a Muslim that we should accept. Uh, the third, to advise to give sincere advice. If somebody asks you, if a fellow Muslim asks you for advice, you know, do your best to give the best advice from your knowledge and from the resources that you have, that you can. It's just a basic right of a Muslim. Uh, the next one was to say, Allah, to say, may Allah uh, have mercy on you, when a Muslim sneezes and says, Alhamdulillah. The next, to visit him when he's sick. When a person is ill, you know, when we go and visit them, it's one of the biggest, greatest deeds that we can do. You know, angels make dua for us. And then, you know, the last thing we can do for a fellow Muslim is when he has passed away, he or she has passed away, that we follow their janazah. I hope we can revive some of these uh, rights, all of these rights, in fact, and we can start taking them seriously because I think what that will do is help to build our society back up, you know, to being a society where we're not always just thinking about what people owe us, but actually thinking about what we should be doing for other people, right? Mm -hmm.